Hi there, Jeff Fletcher here. Welcome to my very first Strixhaven draft. Never done this before. Haven't even read all the spoilers, so it's going to be a bit of a wild ride. Um, Exile, non-man permanence, control draws a card. That seems all right. Um, I like lessons. Planeswalker's got to be good, right? Each of the planes we control has a little bit of abilities. Okay, that's a bit blah, blah. Scry one, okay. Um, create a little guy. I open my ring out of time. Search your library for an instant sorcery card that shares a color with this planeswalker. Exact like card and shuffle it. Okay, it's kind of cute, but you're not getting there. It's actually not very good as planeswalkers go. This is actually a very cool card. Um, good golly. I'm gonna try and win this draft. Uh, yeah, I think I'm not. I'm not taking this planeswalker. I'm taking this dress. Ain't bad. Uh, haste. That's cool. This seems very cool. Um. If I read it properly, God, there's very little time in this. So whenever it attacks, it gains flying turn turn if you control a creature with flying. So it gains all the shit that other shit has got, and it's a two two. Yeah, it's not bad. Maybe it's less good than I thought. Um, Life link menace. Okay, that's instantly two abilities. Spells you cast a target a creature cost two less cast. That's already quite good. Quite like it. Um, Alden shield mage flying, um, and it's hard for them to target. Okay, that's fine. Um, I, I remember, I've seen a little bit of the spoiler, put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on target creature you control, other creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1. This is quite a good card, um, it does go quite well with something like Killian, Killian Inch always seems very good, strategic planning ain't bad, uh, Mercurial Transformation, god there's, so, there's a wall of text on these, if you are drafting these and you haven't read the spoiler, good god, then it's actually quite hard work. Um, it's quite easy to draw a card, there seems like there's something... You can maybe do with lessons. But for now, I'm quite in to try Black White anyway. And I remember thinking that they've got a bunch of good card spoils. Let's give it a go. Um, this is quite a good card. It's a lesson as well. Um, the fact you can choose both things, but it is only a sorcery. So, got to pick Jesus Christ. There's a lot going on. So, I'm, I'm playing with my brother later. And he doesn't play as much magic as I do. So, this is going to be quite tough. Because we're going to be chatting about a draft while drafting it. So, search your life for basic plans with it. Put it in your hand. That's kind of cool. Um. Okay, so it kind of cycles, but it costs a fuck ton, but it's it's like efficient. Um. So it's an okay piece of removal potentially. Um, put two plus one. Well, that seems really good. So you put two counters on. It is sorcery speed. So okay, it's, it's less good. Mason is on sword. Destroy type creature or planeswalker. Whenever a creature blocks this turn, its control loses a life. Interesting. Okay, so they're, they're kind of cute. Um, oh, this seems quite powerful, and it's, it's basically a white card, um, so that we could play that. That seems okay. Let's go with that. Um, okay, now let's let's go with destroy a creature of planeswalker. I can see that that's that's wrong. So lots to consider. Another strategic planning. Q expel exile target tap creature. That seems good. Spells you cast that target a creature cost two less. So this basically costs one. That's a, that's a bargain. I mean, I can see obviously that that's something that my my guild want to do, and that makes us very good. I mean, it's exiling, which is good. This card's always fine. Look, it's nothing super exciting, but it's definitely reasonable. Um, when you cast a copy of instant sorcery spells, spirit creature control game taps creature deals damage to each opponent. That could potentially be good, but I've got no idea about numbers in this set, so I can't really say. Uh, sack a creature, put a plus one counter on target creature. That's cute, but it's only a sorcery. And then there is the owl in shield mage, which I think is all right, but I reckon I'll be able to get a decent number of five drops. So for me, it's just removal here. This seems good. That's not bad either. It's it's like a versatile. It's probably not a good six drop. I'm gonna guess like we haven't gone all of a sudden to a format that doesn't involve tempo. I imagine we still very much are gonna be concerned about tempo. So there's another duress. Duress is fine. There's additional cost to cast the spell Exile Creature you control. Okay, I don't love that. Um. I guess this isn't that great in this format. It costs a lot and can destroy everything. All right. So so far so fine. Um, a way to hand out flying and it's, itself has flying. Um, learn. I'm guessing learn. You find a lesson, but I have no idea for sure. Lawheld campus seems okay. Um, 
There's a bunch of alright here. I'm going to get myself the campus. I don't think the rare is that good, because when I cast it cheaply, I have to let my opponent keep some shit, whereas I never get to keep any shit. So it's... And then it's like a six mana wrath. How good actually is that? Well, it's probably fine. Uh, this is a guild gate, uh, the, the thingy. Um, this was out before, basically. It had a different name. That's cute. Plus two, plus two, and hexproof seems like a deal. Um, okay, this is a nice versatile spell. It's not bad at all. Cute. Um, Alright, I kind of like this. I haven't seen what works with the lessons, so the, the green black land would also be fine and they let me splash into a further subset. But 2 3 flyer seems relatively hard to kill, it's good in attacking, and then if I end in a long game, this is super good because I'm going to start activating this ability. So this is all round something that, while it's not a fantastic card, I certainly see that games that it, it could be good. Defiant Strike's always fine, um, just really small bonus if I get to draw a card. I also get to get a spell craft when it matters. When you cast a spell, copy it for each of the instant or sorcery before you cast a certain you make use of copies of the targets. Counter on a creature, it gains resistance. It's pretty good. Oh, I quite like this. So, um, yeah, this is okay. Oh, okay, I quite like that as well. Um, yeah, that's right. Good god, there's no time to read these at all. Mage Hunter. 3-4. Okay, that's 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 kind of good. Um, I could have a second of these. It's the ingredient. Okay, okay, I got it. Mason to this seems it seems okay, but it's to hose a specific deck. That idea I don't I don't love because it's just one thing, and I don't gain life or anything, so it's not really stopping them killing me. So I'm I'm not in love with that. I'm going to get a, a campus. And then the thing with the campuses is they give you options. Maybe I don't even splash red and I just ignore these cards. But that to me is fine. A non-land permanent, and it's going to give its controller a card. It's quite powerful. If I'm reducing the cost with things like Killian, um, that is that's better. Maybe uh, Sweden Discovery gain two life. You may discard. Two cards if you do draw three. This this isn't a bad card. Uh, this isn't bad. Duress is not bad. I'm not going to be sideboarding. No, no, this is a traditional draft. I will be sideboarding. So actually, I think Duress is good. So we've got the Alden Shield Mage. We've got the Exhilarating Elocution. So the interesting part here is... Um, well, it's annoying. It's not interesting. It's a sorcery. And that's really dang awkward. I think by the look of it, this 3-3 flyer for 5 is, is going to be fine. There doesn't seem too many things to fight it. And we're probably going to get other shots at exhilarating elocution. I think some number of elocution is probably fine, but I really don't like the fact you have to commit it at sorcery, so you're effectively doubling down. It's like a creature enchantment, basically. Uh, you cast it as sorcery. This is interesting. So with things like the elocution, it could be good. On um, this card's interesting as well. I'm going to get this because it's uncommon, and I see that it does have some potential with cards that I've seen in my guild. Um, uh, this card doesn't seem good. In fact, it's sorcery speed, and it's a three, three for four. Just doesn't seem to offer that much. On well, the necrotic fumes came back and is a lesson, so I kind of like that because I think I'm, I might have some things that interact. Oh, brilliant! Okay, so this card came back as well. And we got an execution, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put this over here because I feel like I want to be a specific deck to really use these exhilarating execution, exhilarating elocution. I want to be quite a specific card to use this, um, specific deck even to use it. Um, but if I am that deck, it could be quite good. I could see a world like get multiple Killians and elocutions and reflective golems and maybe something really cool can come out of that maybe not what's this so i returned pass cooler so it's white white i'd have to splash red you return a spirit instant or sorcery from grave with your hand that looks pretty good pretty versatile good at creating advantage inkling summoner it's a lesson you get an okay creature mages onslaught it's an okay removal it's probably fine um, I think this pass cooler could legit be worth a splash. I'm not. I'm not 100% on that. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but let's give it a try. 
Umbral Duke. Choose one. Sack a creature. Create a 2 1 black inkling creature. Well, so you get a 2 1 flyer, or you can make them sack a guy. That actually seems good, because sack a guy is not always good. But getting a 2 1 flyer instant speed for that cost is generally good. Star Pupil doesn't look too bad, Detective Vortex. Oh, yeah, that's kind of shit. Um, these lessons away, but I haven't found anything that really combos with lessons yet. The Dust Mage can combo with counters if it can get them. I like the Umbral Duke. Let's just take that. That looks. Has to, have to say, it seems quite a low power format so far. Nothing's really persuading me against that idea. The power level's not super high. Plum the Forbidden. Gotta sack some creatures. Okay, so you can just draw a card and lose a life, but if you've got creatures you want to sack, you can get extra value. Okay, I see, I see that, I see that. Um, an okay tree, the random 2 1 flyer, it is a lesson. Yeah, I mean, if I can find something to do with lessons, it's easy for my deck to cast. The plus side as well is this is a spell for my things that have Magecraft. I just don't know how many things that's going to end up being. But those four other things that have it are, like, are fine. Um, I mean, I don't really care about them, but they're, they're basically fine. Um, another one of them. Spiteful Squatch. It's got Death Touch. That's good. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you get 2 plus 1 plus 1 encounters on it. Oh, I like that. Okay. Yeah, that seems good because it's on two themes as well. It's that. Well, it's on a plus one plus one counter theme, which could help, and it's just a good card. And you put its counters, so you can load counters onto this, but it's already got death such a basic trade anyway, so there's no real point, I think, loading counters. Go blank. Target player discards two cards, and exalt. That's kind of strong. Um, type, type creature, so... Archway Commons. I'm going to take that here. Um, I think the Elocution may well come back, and I'm, I'm really not yet that Elocution deck, but I could be at any point. Uh, destroy an artifact enchantment of planes. Well, that looks really cool, but maybe not in draft. Um, I'm going to Pestroy Lashmanus. Plus two, minus two. Okay, yeah, I'm down for that. That seems like a nice little versatile spell. I must admit, I'm lacking guys that have any decent size, so I'm definitely looking for something. Revitalize is actually a fine, just a card there. Uh, this guy, again, possible to splash green, maybe. I, I don't think I want to. Let's get Revitalize. I think in this set, like, draw card cards do have value because there's potential to combine them with some kind of spellcraftiness. Basic land. Put it in your hand. It, it's fine. Again, if I wanted to splash, I'm going to put this one in the board, but if I wanted to splash, it's, it's there. I don't even know if I do. The acceptance is fine. The commons might be fine. I'll, I'll check it out here. Just leave it there. Um, oh, okay, crap. I want to... Yeah, there. So we've got the returning pass called. It looks like now we definitely can play this card. Um, I mean, if this is bringing back a Mage Enter's Onslaught and we're getting to kill a creature, we're not very good at using the second part. It's kind of a weird combination. I guess I guess when you have a very aggressive deck, this will be amazing. A lot of the time you'll be using it to defend yourself against something, and then it will just be fine. Still like the Thunderous Orator, but I just don't have so many abilities for it to gain. I suppose, what was this? When this attacks. So, yeah, okay. If I have Silver Quill Pledge Mages, then it's going to balance with them. Study Break. Learn. Okay, so Learn is where you get lessons. That's kind of cute, because that's going to tap two creatures and get me to learn. And it's good because I can learn, I can pick from the stuff. So I want to look out for more learning. I don't want that one, so I think the Pledge Mage actually will be quite good in my deck, because I like that it's it's kind of a flyer. Uh, this guy, this, this guy's fine. Given that we've got no big guys at all, might be fine. So far, I'm not I'm not totally figuring out what you have to do in this format. I feel like the deck that I'm generating isn't great. Okay, that's interesting. 
The plant's dog. Yeah, I feel very uh, underwhelmed by my draft so far. Nothing really stands out, and the uncommon rares I've seen don't really seem particularly powerful. Um, Signing Blood's fine. Manner of any colour. Okay. Um, maybe a cute thing for some commander combos for sure, but not really here. Arrogant Poet. Okay, so we can kind of get aggressive, but it's really aggressive because we're basically having to take the two. Ha! Huh, Leech Fanatic and Thunderous Orator seem to go well together. So this is going to attack with Lifelink. It's not going to defend with Lifelink. We've kind of already got access to Lifelink, though, so it's not a big deal, but it's fine. Um, four seconds. God damn it. Let's take the self built Ledge Maze again. That card's fine. I think the Spiteful Squad's also fine, especially if I'm playing them after Silver Quill Pledge Mages, then maybe I can jump and start bombing them in there with a 5-3 or something. I could I could see that having some worth. What do I need to do for this? I need to play... So that is a Magecraft. It's not an insignificant Magecraft. If I'm making a removal spell on turn 4 and getting in with my Evader, it's kind of fine. Um, ba -ba -ba. There's a flank, which we've kind of seen before, so a good early game removal. I'm not sure how it scales into the end game. A lot of removal here seems to be going back to sorcery speed. There's a spiteful squad versus a mage hunter's onslaught, both of which are quite good. I think I'm going to try these squads. Like I feel that um, maybe down that route lies, lies the path where I'm dropping either a inkling summoning or a silver quill pledge mage on turn three. <laughs> Or maybe the Orator or Killian, and then I'm playing a Spiteful Squad behind it, which is making it hard for my opponent attack. To, and, and, and that's one of the strengths my deck seems to have, is I have quite a lot of flyers, so maybe I can leverage that in order to get a win. That's what I'm hoping. Um... Okay, when this dies, learn. Alright, I'm down for that. Uh, that actually seems pretty good. It plays well with... Other things in my deck in general, just just generally quite good. Um, target opponent reveals their hand, you choose a... So this is like another... There's loads of duress type things here, that's fine. Stonebind is familiar. One or more cards are put into exile during your turn. Put a plus one, plus one count uh, on the familiar, but it can trigger only once. Okay, so it's kind of medium. Um, oh, alright, we like Guiding Voice, so we're finally seeing all the things we can learn. Oh, I like that too. Um, yeah, I think we're taking that. That's kind of like another return pass caller. I don't know if I want to put all that work into casting return pass caller, but we'll see. I mean, that's cute. We get to rebuy something. Um, accelerating elocution could be okay. And when this dies, it's going to enable us to draw a card. The, the problem with this is the body's pretty shit. Um, in the first place, it's just a, a shitty small... I'll try the Storm spell. I'll put this in my sideboard and see if I want it or feel like it. Um, I don't know how good it is. So we've got the Elocution here. I just don't think you can afford to run two meds for these. One is cute, but I, I don't think, especially without loads of the bits, so that's just going to be another Mage Hunter's Onslaught for me. Brackish Trudge. So if I can gain life, I can pop this back. I, I have a couple ways that might happen. Put two plus one plus one counters on it, and gains life we can turn it up. That's not bad, and we do have flyers. I actually like having that lesson, so this is an interesting one. Oh, fuck my life. Um, okay, run out of time. So I want to put some of my lessons in my sideboard, because I have to get them from outside the game. Okay, the Leech Fanatic's fine. Oh, 
just puts it on top. Okay, though. I could be down for that, maybe. I'll, we could just have another Aldin Shield Mage. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. Legit, not sure. There's a lot of these that they're trying to give you something, but you only get to put it on top. So it's saying, well, hey, you don't actually go up a card, but you can nonetheless put it on your on your library. So you can kind of choose your draw. But unlike previous versions of cards, which have said put it back in hand or somewhere, then all oh, right, right, wow, 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 that was fucking underwhelming as shit. So um, hopefully now we can uh, actually get back and, and not just lose our money in this, that would be pretty bullshit. Amazing. Yeah, I mean, this is classic, uh, classic early magic. I'm just going to pause this.